Sometimes it's good to, when your car sits a lot to really open her up on the highway. <laughs> oh yeah, I should show the tubes this. Let's see if the strap fits me. No, it does not. Oh, barely. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you don't yield. <laughs> and that was the person driving? Not this, but the car that... The other car, yeah. Yeah, it oh, didn't the, yield. The Sedona decided that, that my mom being half wasn't looking. She just, you know, had a, had a blinking yellow turn permitted and she didn't check on coming tra traffic, she just bolted across and then T-boned her. And me and my girl can go on a road trip, like, God damn! No, there's some chicks that like trucks. Yeah. It's okay. They like big black trucks. Sorry for the annoying laugh. Oh, fuck! You ready? Yeah. Before you go, just put it, run it through the gears, like put your foot on the brake, put it in reverse. Okay, put it in drive. Put it in uh, three. Okay, put it in low. Okay, put it in neutral. Okay, reverse. Alright, drive. Alright, we should be good to go. It's shifting. Alright, see the windows opening? Yep, we got the back windows open. He's got, we got a window or two down and he's got a cigarette going. We're doing the, uh, the typical Dodge Caravan person. <laughs> I know Adam's gonna get a kick out of this. <laughs> right. Oh, e brake. Good thing the e brake was on. You get your brake on. Go ahead, see what happens. Is there still a check engine light? There it is. All right, give it a sec. Let's see if it goes away. You have it out of first gear? No, I don't have it out of anything. Let out of the clutch. I want to let out the clutch. Where's this port? Um, ah. yeah, so don't plug it in here. 
I just want to read it. He doesn't have a tack? Who, who, who makes a car and doesn't put a tack? This is a basic, basic, basic model. Pick up, please. <laughs> oh, it's the prawn shop. The prawn shop. The prawn shop. This is so weird, this texture. The dust, I can see the dust falling every second. Oh yeah, it needs to get cleaned again. We love this part of the highway, right? Go for it. Now remember guys, it was already broken. <laughs> you know, I really love my F-150, 6.2 liter. Big block. It's uh, gas? Yeah. Oh my god. 13 miles per gallon city. Yeah, but it's got Fox Racing shocks. You taught just, me well, man. You taught me well. You just gotta. Roof, someone's roof, gotta hold this the. Is roof shopping cart by Peter Griffin. <laughs> 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 Shut up, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> good, 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 dude. Oh yeah. This is. This is not good at all. You know what? Uh, you know what you need. So this was not, this was not a well thought out plan. <laughs> See, because you gotta get right on the edge here too. No, I don't. <laughs> you get back down. Oh, oh yeah. that's not as bad as I thought it was, actually. Yeah, no, because the water uh, evaporated. Unlike, unlike those buckets outside of work that they think are gonna evaporate with all the metal in it. All right. Well, I thought it was gonna be more eventful than that. Yeah, it's, oh well, I'll still make a video. You know, it, the thing about it too is that these shoes are not, there's not a lot of traction on those. It looks like it might. Not enough for the weight that's on them. I didn't even know. If there was less get... weight on them, they'd have more traction. You know, I think I'd pro <laughs> I probably, I think I should probably do it like I've done in years past. Just the steel scoop method. See, it's the one in the back that's really bad because there's plants and shit throughout There's the plants in the one by, uh, but you. All right, we'll make this a more interesting video. Chris, don't fall. That's the. Woo if we slide off now, you'll just land in the hard grass. Yeah, it's only hard grass. Yeah, it's all dead and brown. And... The trick now is getting back. I've always down. wanted to do this. It's, just, it's metal, you know. It's not tape. I always thought it was uh, duct tape. <laughs> no, it's uh, isn't it part copper? Um, yeah. Let's take it in. It's so beautiful up here. It's beautiful. <laughs> Fuck, I got up for this. <laughs> Should have stayed in bed. Oh, so tired, man. I've been up since four. Having fun? No, we're up. Look houses were like square on top. Fiddler on the roof. This is terrible. And then watch. As soon as I'll, I'll stop recording and then you'll hear. Drugs are bad. Okay. Okay. Hello. I am Alan Rickman. <laughs> this thing will not take it off. Just, just hitting this. Oh yeah. I gotta show him that. Unlock and then you press it again, it locks it. And the back, my hands are busy. And it releases it. That's freaking sweet. And it's got a little spot for your hand right there. It comes up and gives you plenty of clearance to lift it. Ah.
freaking bread and stuff laying around. Wow. I'm half camper. Yeah. Very happy camper. <laughs> A little bit more. That's good. Airbag over a little bit, I can see it's a little catty wampus. Sorry to be completely random, but. Oh. Yeah, this side is definitely not used at all. Hardly, anyways. Kind of shiny, actually. It's pretty here. I'll give you a close shot. So here's the other side. Oh yeah, she's leaking a little bit. So we're gonna need wheel cylinders, shoes. Ah, it's this side that's itchy and scratchy. I didn't catch that. Holy shit. At least we have the other side as a reference. This spring is supposed to connect up here. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. She's down throaty. All right, time for a test drive. Automatic four drive, four wheel high, four wheel low. 154,000 miles. We need a CV shaft. That's it's expected. I kind of want to get one of these and put a Cummins in it. Look at all the room back there. It's like an exploded explorer. All right, uh, there's no real good dash position, but I'm not gonna video record it with this because the dash is so freaking. Look at the gaps. Holy shit. Sorry, I hate to nitpick this, but the gaps. Oh well. Ford's come a long way with their interior. Get the. <laughs> Anyways, let's go for a test drive. So what'd your mom say the oil was looked like diarrhea? It looked like black. It looked like. It looked like black face. Uh. It's not bad, but we're gonna do a motor flush. <laughs> uh. What what's this thing? The oil cap. Oh, Having technical difficulties, I see. Yeah. Supposed to put this in a cold engine. But, uh, it's about as cold as it's gonna get. 
like a knife? No, I can get it myself. <laughs> Yeah, this uh, this is kind of a fail for this operation. I yeah. have to use that or bigger. Yeah, you have to use that one. Grandpa, Grandpa got me. It doesn't go down anymore. It's just it's like it's not. jammed. I'm not kidding. Oh, there it goes. Huh? It's not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grab a reclaim. Grab a reclaim. Yeah. You left the door open. What's that? <laughs> you left the door open. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck the thing. <laughs> Merry Christmas. No. <laughs> <laughs> it moves. The gauge is so much earlier than before. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen before. I barely looked it off the floor. And it's what do you think? Should I uh, give it a little? I go for it. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude. It... <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Slow down. Sure, why not? You got a clutch bag, yay! I only cost you like a couple hundred bucks, but <laughs> Hi! Yes, I'm editing this video and I just happened to not have a ending clip, so here it is. 2013 was a pretty good year, um, for the most part. Did some things, not really you know, anything spectacular, but we did some fun things and did a lot of projects, a lot of project cars, a lot of comeback cars for part failures and whatnot. We did at the clutch on Adam's car. Right on the very last day of the year, we got it done uh, right as uh, New Year's hit. So, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, this year we're uh, going to be working on our Cummins project, uh, mainly. And, uh, you know, we've got our transmission and whatnot. And I hope the I got the fan blown, so I hope it's not killing you guys. But uh, we're going to be working on getting our motor next since we have our transmission. And uh, after the, we get the motor, it's uh, just time for getting the parts to mate that to the transmission. And, um, and we got a couple other heavy-duty items that we need to get before we just start tearing the uh, truck apart. Um, after that, you know, it's going to be uh, starting the swap pro process. So, anyways, um, thank you for watching, and uh, thanks for watching my videos of 2013, and I hope you guys continue to watch them and support me with my projects and future projects, and eventually I'll have my own place and we'll be able to do projects there. <laughs> have a good one.